Legislative IQ. Increase your legislative intelligence with Florida's policy, budget, and campaign monitoring service. Subscribe today at legislativeiq.com. Hundreds of officers paraded a half dozen blocks to the Capitol to show respect for their fallen brothers and sisters. The families of those being remembered filled a hundred seats or more. To the families, we also promise to you that we will never forget you. You are our heroes. Your sacrifice continues day in and day out. Ten new names were added to the memorial, seven who died this year and three previously unknown. Deputy Sheriff John Robert Cotfila, Jr. Massachusetts Hillsborough State County Trooper John Cotfila, Sr. came to remember his son, John, a Hillsborough deputy who blocked a wrong-way driver from killing two others with his car. He died in a fiery crash. My son was a special individual, and uh, we didn't know how many lives of people that he touched. It's, I've had people come up to me involving cases he's been involved in three or four years ago and tell me, what a wonderful person he was, how caring he was. Deputy Sheriff Eric James Oliver. Stephen Nassau Oliver County was near Sheriff tears recalling his older one, brother Eric, November a Nassau County deputy, killed while chasing an illegal immigrant on foot. He was always looking out for everybody else except for himself. You know, he wanted to, to do what was right. Two Florida officers have already died in the line of duty since the beginning of the year. Both were from Orlando. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Mike Vasilinda.